Hey guys, it's Liv and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face of Drugstore First Impressions, which I'm so excited to film. I've had these products for a really long time. I had them in my makeup mess, which if you guys saw my recent weekly vlog, you would know about the mess. But if you haven't seen it, by the way, I'll leave it linked off down below. But basically, as a beauty influencer, I do get quite a lot of new products. I buy them myself, I get sent them. I get them in goodie bags, I get them from everywhere, and I had a bunch of them on the floor. And as I was sorting through, I was like, oh, this is a new product to me, this is new, this is new. And I have this huge pile in front of me of new drugstore products. While I'm saying it's a full face of first impressions, there are two products that I have already used. Maybe three products actually that I've already used, but the rest of them are new to me and I've never used them before. Most of them I haven't even swatched, so it should be a really, really fun video. By the way, you guys, if you want to know where most of these products are from, most of them, if I purchase them myself, are from makeup.co.nz. The others are from PR launches and stuff like that, but I do think makeup.co.nz stocks most of these products. So if you go through the link down below, that is my link. I will be making a tiny smidgen on what you purchase, but if you'd like to go through that link, you can. If not, it's just makeup.co.nz. Starting off with foundation, I have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, and I had to just cut the seal open. That's how new it is. Like, I've never even opened it up. But I was really excited to try this when I saw it. It came out last year, but makeup.co.nz started stocking it um, nearer to the end of last year. To my knowledge, maybe they've had it for ages and I'm just out of the loop, which is a possibility. I picked it up because I thought it would be cool to try because I am the type of person that generally likes a light coverage, but occasionally I like a full coverage. So I thought having something that gives you control would be really, really great because I could use more or less depending on what kind of day I'm having. This shade could potentially be a little bit too light for me. Um, my chest and body are tan, my neck is pale and my face is in between. So we'll see. Um, I do have bronzers if we need to bronze up. But I got the shade Porcelain. So I've just got a few drops on my hand. As you can see, it's a pretty runny foundation, but not as runny as I was expecting, to be honest. So I'm just going to start applying it. And I'm going to use a flat top brush. I think it's a little bit pinky toned, which is not the perfect undertone for me. I don't know if you guys can see. It definitely doesn't look that yellowy. So about four drops of the product did one cheek and my chin. So hopefully you can see the difference in coverage at least. It has a really nice luminous finish. I'd say this is like a medium coverage because it's kind of covered up my redness but my uh, freckles and stuff are still poking through. Oh wow, so I was kind of like on the fence about this but I've just gone and looked up close and this is undetectable on the skin. I don't think I love the colour obviously, it's not the perfect match but if I can make it work with like powder and stuff it looks so natural. Oh my goodness, I really like that. I am, however, going to take probably like another drop or two just to build up a little bit over here. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have this really dark freckle on my cheek. I think you guys can tell on camera. When I want to do natural makeup, I think it looks really cute and I like having a freckle there, but when I'm trying to do more sort of like dramatic makeup, which today I'm going to go somewhere in between, um, I like it to be a little bit more covered. Just talked for way too long about that foundation, guys. I apologise, but we're going in now with the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in Fair. I got this from iHerb, I think. I've never tried this, never looked at reviews. I just bought it. And can you see that colour? No. No, 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 no. This is darker than my foundation. It doesn't even look that dark in the... Oh yeah, it kind of does. Alright, this is a no-go. I mean, the coverage is okay. Maybe I'll use it to cover up my dark circles and then I'll use a different product to highlight. Because it actually doesn't seem like a bad concealer. I didn't actually notice until I put it on my face, but it actually concealed really well. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if it's because it's darker than my skin tone, but it actually really concealed the under eyes, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Instead, I'm just going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I got this from makeup.co.nz. I really like this concealer. I use the lighter shade, which is called Porcelain. And yeah, this is a really good product. If you guys haven't tried it, I definitely recommend that you check it out. The LA Girl Concealer, by the way, has an amazing shade range. Like, I think it has like 20 to 30 shades. Um, so regardless of your skin tone, there'll be something. They also have like greens and reds and um, all sorts of colors for color correcting as well. This next product is another one that I've already tried. I apologize, but I do not have a drugstore powder. If you guys know of a good drugstore powder, please let me know down below. My favorite drugstore powder is the one from Australis. 
I actually don't remember if I like this or not. I just found it in my collection. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Powder in the shade 123 Warm Vanilla, which looks like it might deepen up the foundation a little bit. So I'm just going to take it on a smaller brush first just to set under the eye. This foundation feels a little bit greasy. I didn't actually realise this until now, but I don't have a new brow filling in product. I have a new brow gel, but I don't have a new brow product. So I'm just going to be using this one, which is also from the drugstore. It is the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in Soft Brown, which I really love. Sorry that it's not in first impression, but I did have some other stuff from Rimmel, some other brow products, but I, I do not know where they've gone. Today is a good brow day. I haven't had a good brow day in ages. I feel like my brows have been looking average lately, but today is a good brow day, thank God. I have got the Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel, but before I use that, I'm going to use this. And this is the Brow This Way Highlighting Pencil, also from Rimmel, if I didn't mention. This one is in 001 Matte, and it's just a matte light pink. And I'm just going to use that underneath the brow. This is obviously um, trying to compete or be in the same sort of market as the Benefit Highbrow. This is actually more creamy than Highbrow. I haven't tried the new Highbrow, but it's way more creamy than the older one, which is good. Just going to use a little brush and I'm just going to smudge it out. I normally wouldn't use this much of the pink stuff, so I'm kind of freaking out. But it's blending really easily, so that's fine. Just going to use the brush to blend it up near the brow. And then I'm actually just going to go in with my finger and then just pull down the rest of the product. The difference is quite subtle, but it does look cleaner and brighter on this side as opposed to this side. So I'm just going to match them up and then I'll be back. Did you see how easy that glided on with just one stroke? Very, very creamy. Before I go any further, I'm actually just going to take this. I don't know if I'm going to use this today because I have so many highlighters, but this is the Milani Summer Glow Strobe Light Powder. This is basically just a strobing powder. I love the pattern on this. looks like sand. Just gonna swatch it for you guys. It's really, really pretty. It's quite like a golden shade. Hopefully it's not too dark, but I'm just gonna use that on a shader brush just to set the brow bone because this stuff is quite creamy and I don't want it to move. So I'm just gonna set that quickly. I'm just using this because I wouldn't mind a little bit of a sheen on the brow. Oh, hello. It is super shimmery. Oh dear. Now I'm going to go through with the Brow This Way gel. I don't like to go in with a gel before I've set down my brow bone because I feel like then when you go to set down the brow bone, the brow product, um, the eyeshadow or whatever you're using gets into the brow gel. So I like to do it in this order. This is the shade Dark Brown, I believe. Uh, yes, 03 Dark Brown. It's a very dark brown. So if you guys are like a medium to dark brown, um, just be aware that this is super dark. I have two face palettes from Maybelline. I've got the Master Bronze palette in 20 and the Master Blush palette in 10. So I am really excited to give these a go. I don't know which highlighter I'm going to use. I'll probably have to use this one because this one looks too dark. But I am going to be using this one to bronze. I'm actually going to go in with the end bronzer and I'm just very lightly, because it's super pigmented, makes me a little bit scared being so fair, going to just bronze around my face. You guys can see it's like super pigmented. I barely even touched my face. Bronzer is so freaking pigmented. Don't even know what to do with myself. Can you guys see the actual perspiration on my upper lip? That is foul. Moving on, I'm going to be taking the blush palette and obviously I'm going to go for this shade here because these two are a little bit too cray, especially considering we're going to be using this palette. For the eyes, I don't want to do like bright pink and then green, so I'm going to go with the more neutral one. I like to use the same brush, I just dust it off and go in for blush. It's like the perfect brush to do blush and bronzer. Just a tiny little bit of blush. I'm not massively into blush, I only just recently started using it again. I had gone off of blush for a really long time. This shade is really pretty. It's kind of like a dusty nude medium pink kind of color. I mean it looks just like that but if you wanted a description. Love the cheeks today. I think they look really great and I forgot to mention that my foundation is pretty much full coverage after using that powder. I'm sure you guys can tell but I really like the way that my makeup's looking today. I want to use as many new products as I can in this video so I'm actually not going to use a highlighter from that palette. I'm going to go in with this little elf one here. This is the elf mineral highlighter in blushing gems which Actually, I feel like I swatched this once for a video and I was extremely disappointed. You can't even see it on my hand. 
yeah, that's a piece of crap that's going in the bin. I lied. I'm going to go in with the Milani Strobe Light Powder in Summer Glow 07. And I'm going to use this as my highlighter today. Because I know that this is going to be blinding. I'm just going to take it on the tops of my cheekbones. This is an Exo Beauty Sheer Powder Brush, by the way. Just like really lightly applies powder. Oh my god, I love this. This powder is definitely going to stay in my everyday makeup collection because while it's still quite a light shade it is like a really light gold and none of my highlighters are golden they're all either like pink or white I have not found a good like light gold whereas this is like the perfect light gold so it is staying around for sure oh you guys my base is so on fleek today I'm really really happy with it moving on to the eyes I am so excited to use this I have never used a Wet n Wild eyeshadow in my life. I have wanted them for the longest time and they came to Farmers last year in New Zealand and I picked this one up li literally like in November or December and I left it in my handbag for ages and I forgot about it and then when I was going away or I think I might have been emptying out my handbag in my vlogmas actually I found it. So this is the Comfort Zone 8 pan palette from Wet n Wild it was like $12 New Zealand or something like that. It was very, very inexpensive. So this is what it looks like. It's got two brow bone shades, two eyelid shades, two crease shades, and two definer shades. To my knowledge, I think Wet n Wild just redid their packaging like at the end of last year. So it might not look like this anymore, but I know that they still are selling it. It also comes with literally the world's crappiest brush, which... See ya. I didn't realize that the brow bone shade is pretty much exactly the same as the one that I already have on so I probably won't be using that but it looks pretty nonetheless. I do just want to make it known that the crease shades in here are shimmery so I'm going to have a very shimmery eye look today so in case you're wondering why it's because the crease shade is shimmery so I'm going to take the more brown crease shade and I'm just going to blend that as you can imagine, I'm going to blend that into my crease. I personally am not adverse to a shimmery crease. I think it looks beautiful. I guess it just depends on your skin type and like the maturity of your skin. Like if you have more mature skin, you probably would want to avoid shimmer in the crease because it can make um, any loose skin a little bit more obvious. Uh, however, I'm not impressed at how shimmery my brow bone is. Oh my gosh. This is way more shimmery than I'd usually go for. I'm sure you guys would appreciate a shimmery brow bone. Let me know if you guys like a matte brow bone or a shimmery brow bone. I like mine a little bit more matte than shimmery, but we're rocking the shimmery today. It's all good. Then I'm going to take my gigantic blender from It's My Ray Ray with no product on. And all I do is I literally, it looks like I'm doing nothing. But what I'm actually doing is I'm just blending out the crease shade. Now I'm just going to swatch this green here and then that green and see which one I want to put on my lid. Okay, so... This one is MAC Blue Brown pretty much, and then this one is like a brighter green. Sorry about the weird swatching position, but hopefully you guys can see that one is so much like MAC Blue Brown. I'm probably not going to use that one because I've done a look similar to that using the Shan XO palette with the shade Avocado, which is like pretty much just like that. But I am going to use the brighter green, and then we'll see where we're going from there. I don't use green very often, but I love green on my eyes like I love the way that it looks but I just don't really wear it because it's green but I do like it whenever I do wear it the other crease shade is literally a black with golden shimmers I was about to pick that up but thank god I didn't because it's like super dark it is black after all so I'm actually gonna take really so I've just swatched this shade and that shade and as you can see the crease shade is actually darker than the definer so I'm probably gonna take a tiny bit of the definer shade which is that one there in the palette. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease really gently just to deepen it up a little bit. You guys can see it's working really well. Oh my god, it's way more pigmented than I thought. Holy crap. I think this looks pretty, but this is so not what I was expecting it was going to look like. When I thought of it in my hair, this look, it was not this. I want to know what you guys think. Tell me down below. I know that I'm cheating, but this is actually a drugstore palette. It's just not available in stores. This is a ColourPop Double Entendre palette. I just need a brown, a light brown, because this is just looking flippin' cray. So I'm going to take my massive brush with a tiny dot of this shade here, which is called Send Noodles. And I'm just going to blend out the edges. I know I should just be using the one palette, but at least this is drugstore, right? I'm just going to take a little bit of the crease shade, this dark, dark one here, on a pencil brush. 
and I'm just going to buff this into my lash line really gently because it's super dark just because I need some more dimension because I just want to have like a darker outer corner but I would love it to be dark at the lash. I do just want to give this foundation props because it is handling life so well considering how sweaty I am. I'm not even going to hide it. I have a river of sweat going down my back right now. Thank God you guys can't see it, but I am very, very hot in this room. And this foundation is like holding up so well. Hopefully, you oh my God, go away, Mr. Wibby. So I've just dusted off the brush to make sure there's no product in it. And I'm going to go back in with the same brush with no product. And I'm just going to blend along the edges of where I've put that darker shade. As you can see, it's not really losing any pigmentation. It's just making that blend a little bit more subtle. With the same pencil brush I'm going to pick up the definer shade that we use to deepen the crease just a little bit and I'm going to buff that along the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with a completely clean blending brush. I'm just going to look up and just smudge. I always have faith in the universe when I do this and yes if you can hear Mr Whippy I'm sorry he keeps going around my neighborhood. And to finish off the eyes I'm going to take that first golden brow bone shade on a little brush and I'm just going to apply that to my inner corner just to really draw attention to it and brighten it. The shade is really impressing me because that does not look like it would be bright on my skin tone but as you can see it is like shine baby shine super duper bright. For my waterline I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light. I bought this recently but I have been using it. It is so good. I'm just going to use that to brighten up the waterline. If you guys know me, you know that I do not use blacks on my waterline, it makes my eyes look tiny. I will use a light shade no matter what kind of look I'm wearing. For my mascara, I have a new one, at least to me. This is the Volume Million Lashes Fear Line Mascara from L'Oreal Paris, and I'm going to give this a try. Never even looked at it before, but it's got a nice scoopy wand. I love a good scoop to my mascara wand. I'm going to apply this... Oh, mascara smells so funky. Anyway... <laughs> I'm going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes and then I'll be back to tell you what I think. Just quickly, here's a comparison with the after and the before. I think it's pretty. It's not the best mascara I've ever used, but it is nice. Hopefully you guys can see how long my lashes look. So my eyes are done and as you can see I've got mascara smudged on my nose. I've got my cotton tip ready, but I do just want to say that the mascara is very, very wet. Like all of the smudges on this side, if you guys can see, those appeared when I was going to get this, when I was looking down to grab a cotton ball, so cotton round, what are these called? Cotton buds. So the point is, is that it's very wet, so do be aware of that if you're going to use that mascara. To finish everything off, I'm going to use a new shade of the NYX Lip Lingerie. I haven't used this one yet, but I have used this product, and I love it, but I haven't used this shade, so I think I'm kind of escaping the first impression rule because I've never tried this shade. But this is called Bedtime Flirt, and I'm just going to pop this all over my lips. It just looks to be a pretty, like, pinky nude. It's more of like a terracotta nude actually. So this is the lip shade on. I love the way that it looks and especially with this um, eye look. I love this look so much. This is the most glam look I've done in a very long time and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. So this brings us to the end of our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it helps new people find my content and my channel. Like I said before, don't hesitate to tell me the colours that you'd like to see me use or looks that you'd like to see me create because I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. Playing with colour is really fun so it's getting me pretty excited to do some new makeup looks for you guys. Alright, enough blabbing. I am going to go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and checking out this video. I really appreciate it. I love you guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye!